we start really with as a as a braided a braided hose take you through that process so the hose will come on a on a large drum in in long lengths typically random lengths of 25 30 meters and we will will cut per, per job we'll cut to a general length just a little bit over we will then take the braid off of the, uh, just exposing the convoluted core we will cut that convoluted core to dead length while measuring up the the end fittings just so we know we've got a precise precise length there we then sleeve the braid back over and slip the collars these are two weld ferrules over the end we'll then take them and we'll trim the braid up to the collars so it's nice and neat at the edge and then we'll we use a crimping process just to tighten those collars on the on the braid and onto the convoluted hose just so when the, the welders are welding round for the sealing weld operation, it's nice and tight and they haven't got to bridge too far when they do their sealing operations. So that's quite an important step. So then we go to the welding process where we trap the, do a sealing weld and we'll trap the collar, the braid and the convoluted core all together. So that is probably the most important part of the welding process as it gives it its strength and integrity. And then the next weld is to weld the fitting on top. So we'll put a male, typically a maybe a male fitting, drop that on top and run another weld round. So after the welding process we go to the polishing process and we determine if the end fittings are made from stainless steel or carbon steel. We have a particular wheel just so there's no cross contamination because if you use a carbon steel wheel on stainless steel ends you can get rust forming. So we use a stainless steel wheel for stainless steel, polish the ends just to remove any sort of weld marks and discoloration from the welding process. Then we'll go to the testing process and it's, a, it's an air underwater test, braided or unbraided. We do different pressures, so typically for an inch and a quarter uh, braided hose we will be around about seven bar as a test pressure. Just to, That's really to check the integrity of the welds and also the strength and make sure we've captured the braid wires all together within that process. Next process is really just goes on to final inspection really where we'll once again just read through the, the job works order and make sure all those end fittings are laid out, how it's meant to be laid out on the hose, the hose is correct and a final length check and a visual inspection just to make sure everybody's, everybody's happy. And then we'll go to, to packing that, that assembly to ship out to the customer. An unbraided hose is a slightly simpler process because we haven't got the braid to worry about but it comes again on large drums typically 20-25 meters in length. We will pull a reel off the, pull it off the drum and cut it, rough cut it again just slightly over length, a few convolutions either side to the length of the actual job or measured up with the end fittings. We'll then trim it to its final length after measuring the end fitting so it's, it's really quite precise. We will then take it to a welding operation, so there's no need for any of the just sort of trimming up for the collars because that's that's not required. So we we'll go straight to welding, where we will, with a filler rod, weld the hose directly to the end fitting. After that process, we'll come back to the polishing process again, determining whether it's carbon steel ends or stainless steel ends, and then do a pressure test, and again on onto final inspection. So it is a simpler process, for all in all.